Hey everybody, my name is Ginger Burke and Buell. I am the CEO of Burke Creative and the founder and host of the Honest Feel Guy podcast here to review lip balms. Now, if you've been watching my content up to this point, you'll know that I've already reviewed hair bonnets, do rags and wraps. And I've also reviewed candlestick matches, which was a lot of fun. You can't have a candle without a match, but here I'm here to review lip balm. And you know, lip balm, is a must have in everyone's purse, male or female or other. Everybody has to have lip balm, I know it. Um, my sons have lip balm, I have three sons, two of them wear it all the time. So I'm actually here to talk about different lip balms because I have so many lip balms in my house, they're all over the place. I thought, you know what, it's time for me to review these things because some of them are really expensive and some are really cheap and other ones are just no good at all. So we'll see what happens. I'm gonna actually talk today about Le Octane. I'm probably pronouncing the name wrong. It's in French. Somebody correct me in the comments, please. Oh, and by the way, if you could please subscribe to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it. So Le Octane, they have a really amazing lip balm. It says ultra rich lip balm, um, ultra rich, made in France. And I've bought a lot of their products and I do love their products a lot. I've never purchased their lip balm. I kind of have a sense that they're jumping in on the lip balm, the lip balm gang, the lip balm game. I think that's actually what's happening, but we'll see what happens. So this is what I'm looking at. And it is, it's a regular like turn up one like this, which I think is really cool. Um, and well, let's just try Let's just try it. Let's see what happens because you know what? Um, I am looking and here goes my camera shaking. I am really looking for lip balm that makes my lips feel luxurious that I can use on the go that I don't have to protect my clothes with. I don't have to be fancy. I just like, you know, I grab my lip balm and I'm like, Oh, my lips feel dry. Like they do right now. And then I can kind of, you know, just kind of pick it up and go. Um, and I'm also, I'm also female. So I want it to kind of look nice. I, you know, I want it to be branded nicely. And I think this is, this is pretty nice branding. It looks more medicinal, than it does some of the other lip balms that I have that I'm gonna be trying. So anyway, let's go, let's try it. Let's see what happens. All right, let's see what happens with this one. Oh, okay. All right, so this, hmm, okay. This feels more like a chapstick to me. This doesn't feel as much like a lip balm. And you know what, I really do, I really do want shine on my lips. Like I want a little bit of shine on my lip balm. I'm not just, I'm not looking for chapstick. I don't, I can't, actually I can't do chapstick. Um, I want a little bit of shine. I don't think this has a shine. It, it, it comes on, it puts on like a, a chapstick. It's got a nice smell. Uh, I wish I knew what was in it. I don't think I have the ingredients listed on this um, at all. Oh wait, I do, there's a lot of ingredients. Okay, quite a few ingredients on here. I know you can't read that. That type is way too small and it's not even in focus. Um, but this is okay. I think you need to warm this up a little bit. So I'm gonna put this on my maybe. This is gonna be on my maybe. This is not on my go-to lip balm list. And I think it it has a weird, it has a weird sensation. I don't know, what do you think? Why don't you try it and let me know? Leave something in the comments about this if you wanna pay for this, this lip balm, because this is on the pricier end. This is, not a, this is not the kind of lip balm that you would find in a CVS or a Walgreens. All right, Le Octane or Le Octana. Someone can maybe correct my pronunciation as well, please. I don't know if I'm gonna recommend this one. Thanks for joining, please.